we also spoke to the victim's son. Police say the burglars assaulted the homeowner, tied him up, as we heard. 41 Action News reporter Sarah Plake is live with more in that part of the story. Sarah. Right now, the, family, the Fowler family is dealing with yesterday's aftermath. Looking here behind me, you can see the family there uh, cleaning up broken glass, and they boarded up uh, that garage door. Their home is now a crime scene. A neighbor surveillance captured two suspects who police ID'd as Joseph White and Ronar Santiago Torres approaching Don Fowler's home. He says they forced their way inside. He was zip-tied and beaten. Court documents say the suspects demanded Fowler's safe combination. When people got here, the two drove through Fowler's garage door in his SUV. Officer Tom Wagstaff was shot as they sped away. Fowler and his family send their support to Wagstaff while Don now nurses scrapes and stitches to his head. He went to the hospital yesterday and was treated for you know, injuries and, and uh, was released the same day, so we're very thankful on that. Spent a lot of time with, uh, with police officers yesterday and so a pretty exhausting day uh, and still sore today, I think, you know, from, from everything and taking a little bit of time to heal up. And Don Fowler was surrounded by his family when I knocked on the door earlier today. Uh, we know that Officer Tom Wagstaff is still in critical condition. In Independence, I'm Sarah Plake, 41 Action News.